Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, congruent angles, segments, and polygons. We're first going to start by identifying how to write line segments. So there are a couple of things. First, it needs to be written in two ways. Second, the line over the top means line segment. Here I have line segment AB or line segment BA. To identify angles, we're going to be talking about how they are written in three ways. And the angle referred to is always in the middle. So for this one, I'm going to start just by writing it as the measure of angle M. This symbol means the measure of angle. And then I can follow some direction. So I can just go from the bottom L, M, N. So the measure of uh, angle L, M, N is still talking about angle M because it's in the middle. Or I could go from the top to the bottom and say the measure of angle N, M, L. Now that we've identified how to write line segments and angle measures, we're going to look at some congruency statements. This is the symbol we'll use that means congruent to. Here we have two different triangles, triangle ABC, ABC, and triangle YZW, YZW, and it says that these are congruent. When it's written out like that, the order that the letters are written is actually talking about their congruence. So because these letters AB are written first and there's two of them, it's referring to this line segment AB, this one side. So as long as I write it in the same order, so line segment YZ, I know that they are congruent. Let's take a look at line segment BC. It's the second two letters written. So then I would look at these are the second two letters written. They're in the same position. So line segment BC is congruent to line segment ZW. Next, I have line segment CA. Now, although they're not right next to each other, they're the third and first position. So I'll look for the third and first position on this triangle. So line segment WY is going to be congruent to this line segment CA. Let's look at angle measures. Angle measures are a little more simple because we're just looking at one letter here. So the measure of angle A is congruent to, I'm going to look for the same position on this triangle, so the first letter, so it's congruent to the measure of angle Y. Here I have the measure of angle A, B, C. Remember, this can be written three ways. It could have also said the measure of angle B or the measure of angle C, B, A. Because if I'm looking here, here's the measure of angle B, and it said A, B, C, or C, B, A, still talking about this angle right here. So I'm going to look for angle B, which is the second position. On this triangle, second position is the measure of angle Z, so that's its congruent. And then this last one I have B, C, A, or you could have said A, C, B, or just angle C. And that one is in the last position, so the measure of angle W would match with this. Let's look at corresponding sides. This time we're going to be relying on those markings that we identified in our last video. So I notice that there are these little tiny hatch marks, that's what these are called, and I'm going to be just matching them up. So here I have the measure, I'm sorry, I have line segment GH, which is right here. It has one hatch mark. So I'm going to look at this triangle with one hatch mark, and I have line segment ST or line segment TS. Both are acceptable. Here I have line segment GF, which has two hatch marks. So I'll look over here, and I have line segment TR or line segment RT. Remember, you can flip the letters around. That's fine. Then we have line segment HF, which has three hatch marks, and line segment ST, I'm sorry, SR or RS would be the answer for this one. Let's take a look at corresponding angles. It's the same thing, but they have, you're going to be matching the angle curves. So I have the measure of angle F, which is right here. There's three angle curves. So this one right here, the measure of angle R also has three angle curves. Here I have HGF. Remember, I'm looking at the angle in the middle. So if I was looking at HGF, 
F, it's talking about angle G. It has one angle curve, and angle T has one angle curve over here. I could write this many ways, just make sure that T is in the middle. And then this last one, I have the measure of G, H, F, which H is right here, looking for two angle curves, which is angle S over here. And remember that S goes in the middle. Let's recap. If the letters are in the same order, then the line segment and or angles they describe are congruent. And then just make sure that you are looking at those hatch marks and angle curves. That wraps up our video. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time.